What's up, YouTube? Yo, back at it again, man. Yes, sir. Here with your boy Gilly Marciano, and you here with React G. Here to bring you some dance reactions. Yes, sir. And today, we got some more Family Guy for y'all, man. Got a whole Family Guy playlist, so go check that shit out. But, if you should do all that, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe. Yes, sir. Go ahead and hit that like and subscribe, and we really appreciate it. But we ain't gonna hold y'all up no longer. The Family Guy we got for y'all today is Cutaway Compilation Season 10, Part 3. You know what I mean? Got all the parts, so I don't wanna hit. Alright, so <laughs> I don't play it. What about that other one? Y'all know. You miss nothing. It'll be in order now. It's oh, new, it's new us. It's a new year. Um, but we go out right into that. Hope y'all enjoy. We now return to Ethiopian Hoarders. <laughs> I don't know how it got like this. Hey guys, uh, can I talk to you for a second? I did something terrible. Ah, hey, we've all done terrible things. Attention everyone, the plane is sinking, so I need you all to proceed onto the floating slide. Dear airplane people, <laughs> I owe you one floating slide. And just so you know, the guy stewardess was angry gay, not happy gay. What does it say? Nothing, just instructions and stuff. <laughs> Oh, you should have been there, Lois. I told Angela what she could do with that job, just like I always fantasized. Angela, I just want to thank you for several extremely pleasurable years working for this corporation. Uh, certain unexpected developments have created a situation where I am no longer in need of employment. Uh, I would be remiss, however, if I did not extend my gratitude to you for your unwavering fairness and belief in me, and there is a giant poo on your desk. <gasps> Holy crap! Oh my god! He must have autoerotically <laughs> asphyxiated <laughs> himself! Yeah, while well, he was watching hey, clown bro. porn! Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah, baby, you make me so horny! Yeah, what the hell? Go shoot some animals! That sounds like fun! Hey, beat sitting at home watching Meg Popper zit! Kevin, I want you to meet your little sister, Susie. Wow. Hey, little sis. I guess we got some catching up to do, huh? Hope you don't get scared when I scream and have night terrors. It's quite all right. I've seen worse. A human centipede. How ghastly. Where are you boys going? We're going to New Orleans. The party capital of America. Home of the all-you-can-pay street. i tell you one thing. It's all about the beads down there. We all know what's going on here. <laughs> it's just implied, but we all know what's going on in this thought bubble. The kids don't know, but we do. All right, Stewie, you all set to spend the day with Grandma and Grandpa? Yeah, I hate being around old people. They've always got weird stuff in their refrigerator. <sighs> I'm hungry. What do we got? Let's see, eye drops, baking soda, and some film. Close the door! You're running up long distance charges! Why, I don't know why Lois right. always said she had problems with female co workers. So, Abby, Elaine, and Janet have their little lunch click, and of oh, course, I'm not invited. Seems like you are doing everything and they're doing nothing. Well, I don't know, but what I do know is that in the staff meeting, uh -huh. Christina said my uh -huh. inventory system wasn't feasible. She's obviously when the threatened by you. Sales manager came back in it's the room, ridiculous, she and I support you fully. It was hers. You can't let and her get to you. Like they're jealous of what you have. It's nothing to do with you and everything to do with them. Only you can prevent forest fires. Interested in getting them together for a play date? Oh, that sounds like a wonderful idea. Look at them. They're getting along like Billy Bob Thornton and his cat. Billy Bob? Leave me alone. I'm taking a bath. Well, and I'll tell you who you should really be praying for. Out of work clowns. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Out of work clowns. I need 40. You know what? Okay, yeah. Let's just turn ourselves in. 
I got a great lawyer and he says worst case, eight to 12 years. And when we get out, we'll still have the rest of our lives ahead of us. <laughs> Goodbye, terrible women. Yeah, give them a chance, Joe. Like I did with scary teenagers. I used to be afraid of them until I realized they were just misunderstood. Hey, fat ass, give me your wallet. I could give you my wallet, but what I think you really want is love. It's true. <laughs> I'm taking your shoes. This must be how twins who were separated at birth feel when they first meet. Trade house keys, bang each other's wives? Yep. <laughs> no, I don't think I can take another semester at the school, Ruth. It's torture! It's worse that's, than sitting next to a baby crazy. on an airplane. Yeah, I'm gonna go. So what brings you to Kentucky? I don't know. I'm visiting my family. Ah, family man. Like, me, single yeah, and ready to mingle. Tom Brunel's the name. Like, Insurance I mean, is the game. <laughs> and right now, the game is very good anybody, at least it's your brother. Yeah, those so bastards have ruined everything. That. The same way the yeah, village people brother. ruined any <laughs> gathering of a cop, an Indian I'm chief, and a construction worker. <laughs> oh my god, can we get a picture with you guys? We're not those guys. Yes, please leave us alone. We're very busy. Now where were we? Oh yeah, we've got to solve that security problem for the Indian casino we're constructing. But Mr. Punishman, you gotta do friends. something. The potholes ain't getting fixed no more. The stoplights ain't working. Tampon commercials no longer use blue liquids in their demonstrations. Oh, oh, make it blue! That's always been the deal! You show whatever you want, but you make it blue! Yeah, you should go for it, Joe. Secrets are what keep a marriage fresh. I have a CB radio in the basement. I go down there a couple times a week, have CB sex. Lois has no idea. Breaker, breaker, one nine, watch your 20. <laughs> oh, it's so hot just knowing you're in a truck. He's ass naked on that seat. That's weird. Bare ass in a whole seat in the face. He is completely naked. That's insane. God damn, that's crazy. Man. Well, I feel, shit, if you have a twin brother and y'all both had wives, I, w I would, I would, I would, I would just think that, like, if it didn't matter, I ain't, I ain't gonna say that, like, not didn't matter, but if you wasn't, like, in love with your wife, then it'd be different, you know what I mean? Then it'd be like, like, trading girlfriends. So Maybe wives is too strong. Yeah, yeah. wives too strong. Yeah. If it's one of my bitches, I guess. Right. You know what I mean? That's why I'm like, okay, maybe white man is too strong. That's a crazy scenario. So you would do it? Oh, yeah. Well, no, I would say 100%. I gotta see what his wife would like. Well, his girl. Who lives on his age. And I gotta see who's getting more or less. Because if your girl is better than mine, I got a little bit of God, it's not fair. We got at least have the same amount of ugliness or the same amount of prettiness. One of the two got to be equal. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's fucking funny. That's crazy, man. But appreciate y'all sitting through this, man. Hopefully, you had a good time. And if you did, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe. Sir. Go ahead and hit that like and subscribe. I really, really appreciate it. Until next time, we see y'all later. Peace.